Okay, I am playing Son of Noor, which is a uh, oh, it's a Kickstarter-funded game that uh, left early access uh, yesterday or the day before yesterday, depending on your viewpoint. 31st of March. Uh, I've played it for about 20 minutes just to get the hang of it, and uh, then I've deleted all my uh, save data so I can do it from afresh for this video. Well, I've not deleted it. I've, you know, stashed it. So it's a uh, action adventure. That's the description on the on the Steam page. Uh, the, the mechanics of the game are that you uh, you can manipulate the environment to defeat enemies. So uh, you know you pick up rocks and throw them. You pick up your enemies and drop them over the edge of cliffs and stuff like that. It's uh, could be quite fun, I think. Seems okay so far, anyway. Oh, purple, there we go. Let's do that right. Now, it does seem to be uh, very focused on being a console game. I'm not playing with the controller at the moment. I'm playing with a mouse and keyboard. I've not even got the controller plugged in, but it still shows hints for the controller. Uh, let's carry on anyway. Single player, this is the tutorial level. So we're going to go for it. So you can see what the game's like. So yeah, like I say it's like a console game. It does offer local co-op. Uh, this intro here is going to give us the background story. According to human beliefs, humans and Sarahul were created by the gods, Nor and Lua. There were no wars, but neither was there much compassion for one another. Then. The first Sarahul mage was born. Immediately, the ancient Aithari, well versed in the arts of magic, appeared from their isolation to guide the Sarahul. Soon, they enslaved the entire human race. So, lizards back. Then, once more, there was hope. The first human child possessing magic closed the gap. And humans freed themselves from the Sarahul shackles. Tensions grew even larger. Only the Aithari prevented an open war. But then tragedy struck, and the Aithari retreated to their homelands, never to return. With the Aithari gone, War was unavoidable. Humans fought with all their strength, but in the end, the Sarahul's superior numbers just overwhelmed the human resistance. After the fall of the human capital, the war was over, and the human race almost extinct. So you see the... Found this video a little bit In glitchy. this time of grave need, the Jerky, other ancient race, the Horastis, appeared and saved the humans, leading them through the great desert to a new home. But it's uh, quite well done. The voice acting, there's voice acting throughout the game. Which is quite nice. It's you know it's far from being a triple A title. I think it's um, it's just over a tenner. It's currently being on sale to celebrate the release. Um, we'll get now into the game itself, and this is surely also we'll get to see you know the fun bits throwing rocks around. years later. Uh, 
I hear a voice. A voice screaming, right. So there you go, double ASD, follow the path. The icon the icon indicates when I can interact with something. Some we're jumping. And we run in the corner. Oh, and we get a cutscene. You there, quick! Pick up a rock and shoot the shadow hole! I don't think I can hold him much longer. There we go. We get the rocks like that. Throw him at the, throw a large Sarawu like encampment has been in Cinder Valley for days, and we never saw it coming. The edge is under attack. I, I panicked and ran. I closed the gate and left everyone behind. You have to do something. You have to open it, please. I'm a coward. I closed the gate leading to town and left everyone else behind. You have to open it, please. So, yes. It does frequently drop any of these cutscenes, but the cutscenes appear to be in the engine. Help me! There we go. I hit them all with a twig. Thank you so much. The cutscenes appear to all be in the engine, so I don't know why this needs to be such a uh, you know a, a rough transition. Uh, where am I? All right, the gate. Yes, here we go. So to open the gate, shift. To open the gate, you have to hit. I have to hit all three switches at once, which I'm not really getting the hang of, to be fair. Let's just put all the rocks over there. When I did this before, what I did was. I, uh, I basically did all the rocks fast enough that I managed to hit all three buttons. Right then. Let's see. No, I'm not getting the hang of this at all. But anyway. Let's try and do it this way. Oopsie. This could take me some time. Do I need to put them up in the air? Oh, that was interesting. Yeah, did it. 
Hey. That was actually quicker. I, I must have just looked out the first time. Right. So here we come to the uh, next. Uh, so the next thing you can do is take sand and make it rise up. And you can also take sand and and make it sink, which I think we'll see in a minute. There we go. Oh. I can bang him against the wall. Sink him. There we go. So I defeated that guy by sinking him. I can avoid obstacles by also terraforming. And I can pick guys up. A little bit of lag there. And drop him. Oopsie. Except I shouldn't fall in afterwards. Which is a bit foolish. I just wanted to see where he went. Where am I? So yes, yeah, that's the first time I've died actually. So I'm not doing bad. Yes, yeah, so there is a there's local local co-op multiplayer. Defend the edge! Not the local cart multiplayer, there's uh, apparently PvP multiplayer. I'm on fire. Have we defeated everybody? I think so. We've done PvP multiplayer, which could get quite interesting. Uh, the game it's a little clunky. What? No. You know, compared to uh, probably bigger budget games, it's quite ambitious for a game that's, that's of this game. less than twenty Let's quid. I would have said. This. But it does seem like it could be a lot of fun, and as you're seeing, native Linux version from the get-go. So if you want to, you want to support indie developers uh, doing Vision Linux games, the there are this other is human a survivors. Good one worth checking out. We can't Son let them die. We must change their fate. Some ghostly figures. Alright, there we go. Kill 3, Death 1. Mass telekinesis. Sand move, 33 cubic metres. So I'm going to leave it there. This looks like it could be quite a fun game. Uh, I think you get more magic later on. As you can see there, the fire spells, wind spells, essence spells. Um, I've not got to any of them yet, so I don't know what they're like or what you do. Uh, I've not tried it with control yet either be quite interested to see if that works or not because obviously it's, it seems to have been designed with controllers in mind. Um, yeah, Son of Law worth checking out.